Hi, it's me and our families. Welcome back to the channel. Do you know you're hurting this channel by not subscribing to it? Please kindly subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so that whenever I drop an amazing video like this, you will get notified. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through the process of how to cut this cargo a joggers pants with three cargo pockets professionally. So I normally use my hips measurement to cut my waist measurement. And the reason is that if I use my actual waist measurement to cut the waist, while putting on the joggers, it will never pass through. It will be very difficult to pass through my hips area. But for the but while using my hips measurement for my waist, it will pass through my hips area freely down to the waist area. And you already know that we are we are going to attach an elastic band to the waist area. So while putting it on, it will look perfect and accurate. So let's get started. Thanks for watching. So I'm going to draw a straight line here for my starting point. After drawing the straight line, I'm going to apply my length measurement. But I'm going to deduct 2 inches for the elastic waistband. So I've deducted the 2 inches for the elastic waistband and I'm going to measure down to my length measurement. My length is 37 and I had extra 1 inches for the hemming allowance. I'm going to mark the same thing here. So after that, I'm going to mark my waist measurement by dividing my hips by 4. My hip is 37, so after dividing it by 4, it gives me 9.25. So I mark 9.25 for my waist. Next thing is to find my crouch area. So also I'm going to divide my hips by 4. So starting from the point I rode, I marked 9.25 also here and also I'm going to apply my normal hips measurement which is 9.25 after dividing by 4 and I'm going to add extra 2.5 inches to it like this so I'm going to connect it together and also connect the waistline and the crotch together like this so I'm going to draw my crotch cuff. So after that, I'm going to measure six inches for my ankle area. So I'm using my hips curve to connect the line together from the crotch area to my ankle area. So I'm going to, I'm going to mark one inches downward like this, and from that one inches I'm going to mark six inches for my pocket opening so when you want to cut out your pattern don't forget to leave your seaming allowance don't forget to add your seaming allowance to it but in this tutorial i'm not adding it it escaped my mind but don't forget to add your seaming allowance to it so after cutting the front part, I'm going to lay the fabric. The, or I'm going to lay it on the remaining fabric. I supposed to lay it like this in order not to waste material, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to lay it like this. Make sure there is no any wrong point in any area. So 
so after it is well laid i'm going to add 1.5 inches at the crotch area like this so the brand the back part normally higher than the front part so i'm going to connect it to the tips of the pocket side pocket area and from that i'm going to add extra two inches from the top to the ankle area the extra two inches is for the heels so that the pants is, will not be too tight and it will look normal so i'm going to connect those marked line together After connecting it together now, I need to cut it out. So this is the front part and the back part of the joggers. Now, I've already cut my pocket pattern. The length is 6.5 while the width is 6 inches. So I'm using cargo pockets for the joggers. So I'm going to place it on the fabric like this. So I'm going to leave seeming, al uh, seeming allowance to every edge of the pattern. So at the most I leave seeming, uh, seeming allowance to it. So I, I added extra one inches for the hemming of the pocket opening. So make sure you had seeming allowance to the pocket as you can see that i leave like 0 0.1 or 0 0.2 seeming allowance to every part of the pocket edge and also i had it one inches for the hemming allowance like this i'm going to fold it like this so I'm done with the cargo pocket cutting now it remains the side pocket so I'm going to mark 12 inches in length and also the width will be 7 inches So this is the side pocket. And also I've already cut my fabric I'm going to use for my elastic band. So the height is 5 inches. So that when I fold it like this, it's going to equivalent to 2.5 inches. And after the sewing, everything will equivalent to 2 inches elastic band.